Hi YouTube, Brian here. Um, just wanted to show you a potting up of an interesting little plant that I found. Uh, this is a Maclenia insignis. It's a very unusual plant. It sort of checks off a whole lot of different boxes for me. It's a cloud forest shrub that grows as an epiphyte in trees. It also is codiciform, codex forming, so it makes a, a big gnarled mass of roots at the base like you'd see in cacti and succulent shows. Um, it's ericaceous, meaning it wants to be in a fairly acidic, um, relatively nutrient poor soil. And it also produces beautiful little flowers that remind me of the uh, Dendrobium lewisii and things like that, those lovely little tubular hummingbird pollinated flowers, and forms lovely big purple edible berries. So basically, it's a cloud forest growing succulent shrub that's edible, uh, pretty much anything you could ask for, all in one plant. These tend to be pendant growing. You can see here, um, it's currently in a gallon nursery pot, and already the leaves are a little bit below the surface of the, uh, the bottom surface of the pot. So it wants to be grown generally in a hanging basket is best, or if you're uh, growing it as a, a succulent person, you might grow it in a, a tall pot so that it could hang down. So I'm gonna take this, it's in a fairly fine ericaceous mix here. Uh, because I'm growing it in my greenhouse, my orchid greenhouse, um, I'm gonna want to have it in something that allows a little bit more airflow. So I'm gonna use a mixture of moss and a little bit of tree fern. So here I'm going to just line the bottom of the basket with a little bit of sphagnum moss. I've got a nice big wooden orchid basket here. I'll use what little bit of this um, sort of peat based mixes here. There's a little bit of fertilizer mixed in. I'll mix that in as well. Some little chunks of tree fern. Um, things that we want to avoid, we don't want to add any lime to this one. It is not a lime loving plant. So don't, you know, don't use your general orchid mix if you add oyster shell or lime to that. I'm going to mix in a little bit of moss here as well. So I want something that's going to be moisture retentive, but not stay, not compress down, not be uh, hard for air to get into the roots. I'm going to plant this just tucked off in the corner here, filling around with chunks of tree fern and sphagnum moss. Just to allow some airflow. You can also add a little bit of perlite and you know, honestly, a little bit of peat in this mix would be perfectly fine as well. Um, I just know that growing it in the orchid house with all the misting systems, it's going to need uh, good airflow and a little less water, potentially. I'm going to keep uh, the area around the base of the plant clear. I can already see some fairly big roots starting to form here. Those are going to be that caudex eventually. Just tuck that full give it a good watering and then I will hang it up in the greenhouse somewhere near one of the mist heads. It'll get nice amounts of water, it'll be nice and humid, and hopefully I'll have some pretty flowers and some lovely berries to eat soon. Thanks YouTube, take care.